Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be rehousing our thorny cricket with a scientific name pop just up here. Now at the minute it is just sat in this thing here. I've already taken out a lot of the decor, so this little tub here, it did have some plant matter coming out of it and it also had some branches for it to climb on, so on and so forth. But I've taken that bit out so it's easier to have a view. It's actually just down in here. I don't know how well you can see. I was going to do this off camera. And the reason being, I don't even like this enclosure. I don't even want to show this enclosure. Seeing this enclosure <laughs> on my own camera with the screen facing at me is making me sick. They're hideous. They are absolutely hideous. I'm sorry for anyone that owns these. I really hate them. I really... I, I, you know what? I'm giving this a ways to... A friend or something when I'm done with this video. Anyway, I was going to be housing this boy here into a completely different enclosure. Excuse the ring light. But I noticed something and I just, I had to film it. I just absolutely had to film it. Check this out. Okay, so I've taken everything out completely now except for the food dish. So this one does eat some live prey, but I also give it my own homemade bug grub. Um, and I changed the recipe a little bit. And I was going to try it out for feeders, but I thought I'd try it on this guy too. And I just noticed, look how fat he has got. He is absolutely... Oh, if you could get a look at the abdomen there. Oh, hang on a minute, he's sketching out. <coughs> da da Look at that abdomen. That is absolutely morbid. I mean, seriously, this guy needs to go on a treadmill. Let's get him out so you can have a better look. Okay, I say get him out. He's, he's even too fat that he's sliding down here. Hang on, let's, let's give him a hand. Like, uh, this is ridiculous. I mean, I can imagine this guy if he was human, right? And this means no offence to anybody. But if he was human, sat on the sofa, right? Packet of donuts next to him wearing a dirty white vest and his feet up watching telly. Right, <laughs> that is the image I get for this. Look at it. Like, it was, I mean, he's always been a bit of a plump cricket, but that is ridiculous. Come on. You know what? You know what? This is a last minute decision right now. Okay, we are going to be doing a worldwide giveaway. All you've got to do is comment below with a name for this guy. I mean, something that morbid. I mean, look, it bulges from the top out to the sides. Anything of this caliber, this size, this monstrosity here has got to be worthy of a name. So here's the competition. This is how it's going to run, right? You comment below, everybody comment below with a name that you think we should call this guy here and I will pick whatever I think is most suited. And whoever wins will get, I don't know, let's just say a Bug Realms mug with a photo of this dude on the back of the mug. So you can have the logo one side, you can have the name of this thorny cricket and an image of this particular thorny cricket on your mug. Worldwide competition, doesn't matter where you are in the world, USA, Europe, uh, Canada, well, uh, anywhere, anywhere in the world, and all you've got to do is, is is give a name to this plumpus rumpus right here. Okay, okay, enough of fat shaming the cricket. Um, I've never actually held this cricket before. Now, this was a Tarantula YouTube community gift uh, that was sent to me by Adam the Invertebrarian, where a few people put some money in together. So a big thanks to the community for that. And I don't even know if they bite. You know, if this, I mean, it eats live prey, it might well want to chomp on me. And looking at the size of that abdomen, I'd say it would eat absolutely anything. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We need, <laughs> I, I can't help it. This has been the most fun recording I've ever done in my life because just, damn. Right, enough of the chit chat. Let's set up a new home. <laughs> all right, all right, let's take this seriously now. I'm going to set up a new home for um, Mr. Morbid here. And, uh...
right enough. Okay, he's actually pretty quick off the mark. He doesn't seem to like sitting on plastic. I thought, you know what, I'll pop him down for a minute while I uh, get the enclosure sorted. And he legged it. And mind you, he stopped again now. As soon as I go to film him having a good old run, showing that he can actually exercise and he is in fact a cricket, not a slug, um, he decides to stop. Let's see if we can... Um... Oh no, my phone's ringing, my phone's ringing. Right, cut, cut, cut. Okay, so I'm going to actually be moving him into this one. It's not quite as wide, but it's a lot less hideous looking and... Um, it's still got plenty of room for him to manoeuvre around. We'll give him some climbing sticks. Sorry, I keep having to watch him and make sure he doesn't do a runner. I say runner, doesn't do a, a slow walk away. Okay, I've changed the camera angle because that was just awful, sorry about that. So we have popped some branches in. We're gonna pop a couple more down in like so. Now these do tend to live in sort of like shrub lands. I don't really have any sort of like shrubby type decor as such. Oh, let's not forget his beast of a meal. So I will try this new bug grub that I've created out on my feeders um, and I'll let you know if they balloon like this guy did. So it's a very basic setup. Oh, water dish. Let's pop that one, like so. We'll top that up after he's in and housed. So these are nice little glass enclosures, really. I was going to use some for some arboreal teas, but they don't have cross ventilation. They only have ventilation at the top. But I'm hoping now that he's got a bit more vertical height, as well as uh, still a reasonable amount of width, that he might actually do some exercise. I just mean I'm hoping he moves around a little bit more than he currently does. So let's pop him in and see how he settles. He's still on his bit of plastic. And he's still... I mean, look, look. All right. I... Oh, my camera's getting all wobbly. Oh, it's sort of silhouetted there. That's really interesting. Really interesting view. But, I mean, that's a booty. That. That's, that's, I mean, look. Look at the way it kind of like sucks in around the edge in there. I've never owned one of these. I mean, comment me below. Comment me below. Let me know. Is your thorny crickets, armor crickets, whatever you like to call them, are yours this fat? Or is this genuinely down to the new recipe I've got for the bug grub? Because I, I'm going to have to change it if it's down to that and just keep it for making feeders fat. Because, I mean, I want to get this guy a girlfriend at some point and... Uh, well, I haven't got any issue with the, with the larger people, but you might get a fussy one and he, he might not be able to do the deed. <laughs> all right, all right, enough with the fat shaming now, enough with the fat shaming. You are a beautiful, beautiful thorny cricket. But check out those spines as well while we're here. Before I pop him in, let's have a closer. There, look at that, look. No, not the booty, them spines on the legs, and you can see them up on that sort of armoured carapace type piece. I don't even know what it's called on a cricket, I'm not sure if I've got that right. I really know very little about crickets. I'm going to have to do a bit more research into this guy, and I really, really want to get him a girlfriend. I'm presuming he's male, because I know that generally crickets tend to have overpositors when they're female. And I don't see one, so I'm presuming this is male. If I am wrong, I do apologise. But I'm certainly going to look into getting a girlfriend or boyfriend, if I've got the sex wrong, for this ugly, large and in charge invertebrate. Let's pop him in, shall we? Oh, he's got a hell of a grip, you know. What hell of a... It's really, really strong. So he's got these tiny little like thorny bits on his toes that like little hooks kind of like stick insects have there's really digging in actually and he's really gripping hairs on my arm I, I don't actually know how I'm gonna get him back in Are you gonna climb up on here don't bite me please Ugh. Oh, 
moving. Is he moving? He's moving. Go on, climb your branches. So there we have it. Our armoured cricket, or thorny cricket, they come under both names, settled into its new home. So that's going to be it from today's video, the video that wasn't going to be released but I just I just had to, just seeing that. So worldwide giveaway for a free Bug Realms mug with the name that you have given this cricket. I will sit there with a bunch of friends, we'll look through the list of names that you have provided in the comments below, I'll pick one out, I'll announce it and I'll get that mug sent out to you anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching guys, I hope no one took any offence to my fat shaming, I honestly, I'm not weightist, but that, that, for a cricket, I'm gone, I'm gone. Take care guys, bye bye.